Hello, my lovelies. Welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the monthly reading for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Before we get into that, I want to let you guys know that we're going to be giving, uh, we're going to be doing December free giveaways. Uh, as you guys uh, know, last year we did the same thing where um, we raffle certain gifts uh, for purification, money, abundance, love, etc. We're also going to be including in this year's um, giveaways, we're going to be including um, some of the soaps from the soap line that we have now. Uh, that's also going to be um, being offered as gifts as well. So you guys definitely stay tuned for the next spell video as I will be announcing that and how to um, how to participate. Now, in regards to uh, December as well, every year for the past two years, we've been doing live Instagram. Um, this is where we do a free one question readings. Uh, this is something all of you guys have enjoyed for the past years. So we're going to be doing that as well. Now, this year, it's going to be done in December the 22nd at 7 p.m. California time. So if you don't follow me on Instagram, definitely go check that out so you guys don't miss that okay all right let's get into your reading scorpio let's see what spirit has for you guys for the month of december 2019. now in regards to your finances scorpio you have the page of wands page of wands speaks about a new opportunity coming towards you perhaps for some of you guys this could be a uh, communication that comes through in regards to your finances or that will be directly impacting your finances in a positive way Page of Wands also represents messages and communication, but it is a journey. So again, I do see that there's going to be opportunities for you guys opening up in the workspace uh, where you're currently working at. For those of you guys that don't have a job or have difficulty finding a job, now is the time to start applying as the Page of Wands represents very receptive type of energy. Um, they're going to be looking at you as a very hard worker, a person that is definitely capable of doing um, whatever position that you're applying for. So definitely start applying now. <coughs> excuse me, you guys. Um, now in regards to your communication, <coughs> excuse me. In regards to your communication, you guys do have here the seven of swords. So you may be dealing with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius for others of you. Um, it could represent um, seven of swords is more of sneaky type of behavior or people being two faced people not being completely honest or transparent with you um, with the page of wands and the seven of swords. I feel that for some of you guys, uh, there may be some. OK, so I'm getting two different messages for those of you guys that live in places where it's not that safe. I would highly encourage you guys to. Make sure that when you're leaving the house, you lock the doors. Make sure that when you're stepping out of your vehicle, lock your car. Um, because I definitely do see uh, some, some, someone trying to steal or someone trying to take something from you, Scorpio. So be very careful with that. Um, of course, we all know the holidays are here. They're right around the corner. And unfortunately, it's, uh, it's you know, the, the, what's the percentage rate for robberies are very high so you guys be very careful with that as well now in regards to your challenge here you have the queen of wands scorpio so the queen of wands could represent a fire energy leo aries or sagittarius and as a challenge i feel that for the month of december you guys are going to be very tested tested in the sense of perhaps having to deal with someone that is that of a fire energy uh where perhaps um, there's going to be not a lot of agreements uh, or understandings. I should say misunderstandings is something that's coming about. For others of you, uh, it could very well represent a fire energy that perhaps is around you. It could be a relative, a family member, a friend, or someone you consider a friend. Um, and they are directly connected to the seven of swords. So my suggestion for you Scorpios out there is to be very careful with this person because this person could represent um, sneaky type of energy, a person that likes to spread rumors or likes to talk bad about people and kiss you. Um, so hypocrite type of energy. So be careful with that. Um, 
and and again i feel that with the queen of wands this can also be a very narcissistic person because i do see it as it as in the reverse i don't do reversals but spirit will let me know and i feel i'm definitely feeling like the negative side of the queen of wands so this could be a person that could be very like narcissistic a person that could hold a grudge forever and they will go out of their way to like make it more difficult for you so i do see you being challenged in that aspect or even a challenge in just trying to deal with this person or staying away from this person for the month of december now in regards to your love and romance you do have the nine of pentacles so the nine of pentacles could represent um for those of you guys that are single it could represent that currently uh you are embracing your singlehoodness or have been uh, embracing it it's almost like you're comfortable being single perhaps because you've kind of learned to be self-sufficient um but with the queen of wands here i feel that for some of you um you gotta let go of feeling like you can't trust anyone and this is directly connected to those of you guys that have been single for a while what Spirit is telling you is that it's time for you to stop being so guarded. Um, so if you've been single for quite a while now and you often ask yourself, like, why is it that I just can't find the right person or I can't, um, where is that? Why is it that I can't find the right person or why is it that they just don't, you know, inspire you or they're not as, you know, appealing to you what spirit is telling you is that you're extremely guarded um the nine of pentacles does represent um being comfortable with being single but it can also represent being or having learned to be very self-reliant and that is definitely a blessing and that's definitely a good thing a lot of people don't know how to do that but when you get the queen of wands next to it it usually indicates like um feeling like people have to bend over backwards to prove to you that they're worthy of you. And with the seven of swords, this is ego. So you got to keep that in mind and be careful with that. If you are in fact trying to bring new love towards you, Scorpio. Now in regards to the message directly for you, Scorpios out there for the month of December, 2019, I'm going to be pulling out a card from the Moonology uh, Oracle Cards. Let's see what Spirit's direct message for you is for the month of December 2019. Now, I do want to say, for those of you guys that are in a long-term committed relationship, um, it could signify that you may be challenged for the month of December with this fire energy, with the fire, um, with the Queen of Wands. And this could represent a person that perhaps is connected to your partner in the finances. So it could be a person that they work with. It could be a person that uh, perhaps, you know, does the same thing that your partner does or is working in the same place that your partner is. And they're very interested in them or trying to get their attention. Now, this is a message that just came through. So that's the reason why I wanted to put it out there for you guys just to be mindful. Okay, let's see what Spirit's message for you is. Give me one second. I'm going to be pulling out the cards for you. Okay, this one's not trying to come out. Give me one second. Okay. All right. Nothing is yet set in stone. Mutable moon. Okay, so I feel that for you guys... Um, this card that nothing is set yet in stone could represent for some of you guys. Um, sorry, I'm so distracted back here. Not sure. Where is it at? Not sure if you guys can see right here. That's my, that's my niece. Give me one second. Um, anyway, sorry. Okay. Nothing is yet set in stone could represent again. We all have the power within us to change certain aspects or certain situations in our life it is up to us and only us even how we react to certain situations so again if you feel that for the month of december scorpio you are being challenged or you feel like people are just getting on your nerves understand and remember that if you 
allow people to have such impact in your emotional state or how you react to certain things, they're just getting the best of you. And that means that they won. So again, be rem like, remember that and be mindful about that. Don't let people get the best of you. Every time we get frustrated with someone, a particular person or a situation, it's like you're giving up your power by, it's like you're giving up your power by, um, by releasing that frustration. It's like they won. They're getting what they wanted, which was to get under your skin. So just remember that, Scorpio, and try the best you can to understand that at the end of the day, nothing is set in stone. Even consultations or readings like these, you all, it is always up to the person that is getting the reading done uh, to change certain behaviors or certain aspects or certain situations or even how they react to situations to be able to get a different outcome. Ultimately, it lies on you. At the end of the day, it falls on the client. It falls on the person that is wanting to change something. It is up to you. You always have power and you always have control over everything, even if it's just how you react to situation. So keep that in mind, Scorpio, okay? I hope you guys enjoyed these readings and we'll see each other soon. Bye.